let's do a little bit of a deeper dive into some of these parameters. So for dissolved oxygen, and this is for cohort C because they don't have anyone presenting live, uh, you've got Jack's video, okay, you have Charlie's um, blog post, and then I shared Gray's dissolved oxygen uh, slideshow. So you've got some good information there to tell you what dissolved oxygen is and get your notes. But I want to share this graphic um, that would be great to add to DO so that we know for sure what our salmon need. There are a lot of graphics like this on the internet, or at least a few, and we got to find one that's either Creative Commons, if you want to put it on your blog post, or make it yourself um, by getting the information. This one came from the Fondriest website that we used for our information, for our research, and they're copyright, so we can't just take their picture and use it on our website. But look at the top here. They've got salmon and trout and numbers. Those are the oxygen requirements in milligrams per liter. You can see the different types of fish down to pike. Pike can survive in waters with two milligrams per liter of dissolved oxygen. That's like two molecules of O2 oxygen in a million molecules of water H2O because two milligrams per liter is the same as two parts per million. And there's so many millions of, of, of water molecules that two milligrams per liter is a lot when you take a whole creek of, of water. So what we have here is little microscopic organism or little bugs like the macro invertebrates uh, we're gonna learn about. They can survive in one milligram per liter. But as the fish get bigger, their needs for oxygen increase. So salmon and trout need six to seven milligrams per liter. And when we look at uh, our data, and I know they've got graphs on their, uh, on the slideshow and on the uh, blog post right here. But if you look here under evidence, this link takes you to this photo album. And the reason I'm pointing this out is because my graph has numbers and, and the numbers can help you uh, look at the values. You can see if salmon and trout need six to seven milligrams per liter, uh, we've always had at least 6.5, if not greater. So that tells us that dissolved oxygen is definitely in the good range for fish. So Chimicum Creek is doing very well for that. So there's just a little extra information on uh, dissolved oxygen because this is excellent. What we need to know to make a conclusion based on our evidence. This is our evidence. And using this, we can conclude that for dissolved oxygen, the fish have enough more than enough.